Wow, I had a little time to kill, so I ended up going to five thrift and junk stores. I went to the second hand store here. I had just left the Teen Challenge thrift store. I ran into the Goodwill to see what all they had. And then I went to one of my favorite thrift stores, Gateway, which sometimes I get the cheap cashier and sometimes I get the one that's really expensive. And then I just went to our local dirt cheap to see what they have because I haven't been there in a long time. Hey everyone, my name is Chris. I'm a full-time beauty pageant director as my career, but in my spare time, I'm a huge toy collector. I've been collecting toys now for over 40 years. You can officially call me a toyaholic. Thanks so much for checking out my YouTube channel. My channel consists mainly of two things, beauty pageants, which I love, and toys, which I love even more. My goal now is to move my massive toy collection to a building and call it Mississippi's Totally Awesome Toy Museum and make it open to the public. I want to make it a tourist attraction for our state. So now I'm just going to make a ton of videos and value my toy collection. And then I'm going to make some where I take you shopping with me to thrift stores and flea markets and toy stores to let you see where I find all these goodies. I hadn't been to the Teen Challenge thrift store in a long time, so I decided to go try it out. And it was under new management, and they had a bunch of toys, and I only spent $5 on all of this. So let's kind of see what it might be valued at if I did price it out piece by piece. He really gave me a good deal. I thought $5 was great. So first, this little rainbow pillow is probably worth about $4. And then this little bunch of grapes, probably about $2. And I do have a grape tree I decorate for Christmas. This little Serta plush is probably worth at least $5. He still has the tags on him. And then these little Happy Meal Thai toys, probably a dollar each. Then I got a Cabbage Patch Kid baby dressed up. He's probably worth about $6. The Sequin Butterfly plush worth at least $6. Then I got a little doll guitar, a dollar. A Ken doll worth at least $5 loose. And then these little bitty toys, a Fisher Price Little People, a dollar, and then maybe 50 cents each for those. So that would be another dollar. So let's see what that total would add up if we added everything. I forgot the little plush owl at the top. He's worth $6. So that stop was pretty successful. We spent $5 and it's worth about $38. So that's about $33 profit there. Now this next little collection of goodies came from three stores combined, Gateway, Goodwill, and Dirt Cheap. I got a really good deal at Goodwill and Dirt Cheap, but the Gateway cashier really got me good. Now this little collection of stuff came from three stores. I got good deals at two stores, but the Gateway store that I usually like, the cashier charged me $21 and I thought my stuff was gonna be about $8. Now this rocking horse I got at the Dirt Cheap store. He was about $21, but he's brand new and he's worth about 35. And then I got a couple books at the Gateway store where she charged me a lot. And I think she only charged me a dollar each for these books, which, I just wanted to put as background pieces for the collection of toys I have. Now this little brass book stand, she charged me about $3, about $2 for this little My Little Pony, uh, about a dollar for Baby Shark, which wasn't bad, about $2 for this little Paw Patrol car. I don't think I got charged for the little Playmobil Pirate. This came from Dirt Cheap, the little ambulance. It was about $3. And this pizza tray, it's plastic. She charged me like $3 where it had a 50 cent garage sale price on it. The little Mississippi State Plus, she charged me about $5 for. And then the little wrinkle dog, she also charged me about $5 for. I thought that was a little high for plush from Gateway, but there, you're at the mercy of the cashiers there. And this little Generation Girl car was only $2.94. That was my best deal out of this group. It's worth about $40. I love the little second chance thrift store in Pearl. The cashiers are super friendly and they always like to talk to me about collecting toys and I spent $13 there. 
Now, I didn't find anything just worth the fortune here, but I did do pretty decent. All the toys were half price, so these little top plush um, Beanie Babies were just a dollar each, and they're worth about five dollars each. And then this little flower, I'm just doing a little vase of artificial flowers, worth about a dollar. The Southern Mississippi Sock Monkey keychains worth about three dollars. And this little Mexican doll, I looked her up on eBay, and she's worth about fifteen dollars. This little rattle is probably worth about four dollars because it's vintage. This little alligator plush probably isn't worth anything. It was just a dollar fifty, but probably worth about five dollars. A Ninja Turtle book probably about four dollars. I paid a dollar. This large Liberty plush is worth about fifteen dollars. I just paid a dollar fifty for him. This little vintage Weeble Wobble type figure was marked ten dollars, so he was half price. So he was five dollars and he's worth anywhere from about 13 to 20 dollars on ebay so i'll value mine at 15. so we did okay there we spent about 13 dollars and it's worth about 72 dollars so that's about a 59 dollar profit there so i went back to gateway my favorite junk store just because they have so many more things there to dig through and of course, I got the expensive cashier again, and she charged me $43. So here's everything I got. $43 is not terrible, but I thought I was going to get a little bit better deal. First, I got these four bowls. They're like corning wear. Now, she charged me $16 for the set, which I figured they're worth probably at least $40 or $50. Then I got this little stand you put on the wall it looks like a little table it was made in like 1973 and she only charged me three dollars for it and i think it's worth at least ten i got this little big bird book i think she charged me about a dollar it's probably worth three this vintage little dankin um airline pilot stuffed animal or police he's probably worth about six the little old guard is worth about four dollars this was a cool find. She charged me $5, but a Rodney Dangerfield game is worth $20. This little dragon, she charged me $2. It's worth about $6. The Snoopy, she charged me $2. Now, I would think it's worth at least $12, because it is vintage. Then I got this little rooster set. She charged me $4, and it's probably worth about $10. Then I got this cool Six Flags hat. She charged me $3 for it, and I think it's worth about $20. Then these are where I made the money. So lucky to find these vintage Polly Pocket sets with all the pieces still in them from the 90s. They had just been donated in the back and I was the lucky one to find them. The little green one is worth about $35 with the pieces and that was the cheapest price I found on eBay with all the pieces. And then the little pink heart one is from 1993. It has both of the little suede dogs with it and the girl. And that one blew my mind. If you have all the pieces for it on eBay, the cheapest price was about $58 to $60 with tax. So that was a really good find. So I spent $43 here and the value is worth right about $231. So that's $188 profit from Gateway. So the grand total for going to all five of the stores came out to be $109 spent. Now, when we appraised everything and looked it up on eBay, our grand total value was $488 for the whole day. So when everything is added and then we subtract how much we spent, that gives us a profit of $379 for our day of fun going thrift shopping. That's really good. Thrifting is my favorite hobby on the planet. So I'm actually applying to be on MeTV's Collector's Call for Season 4. So keep your fingers crossed for me. I really want to be on this show and I really want them to come appraise my collection. Well, I'm a baby YouTuber trying to grow my channel, so if you did like it, hit like. And if you don't mind, hit subscribe and follow this journey with me as I value my toy collection.
I'd certainly appreciate all the help I can get.